Friday forecast time. The Wisconsin Badgers coming to town. Top 10 opponent, night game. It's going to be an electric atmosphere, isn't it, Sean? Yeah, these night games, uh, historically, uh, obviously we know the, the numbers. 46-5, and five, Nebraska all-time in night games. They have not lost a night game since 2008. Missouri, that was Bo Pelini's first year. Coincidentally enough, Nebraska lost back-to-back -back night games. Virginia Tech, then Missouri. Well, this, this year they have two kind of losable back-to-back -back night games again here uh, with Wisconsin and now Ohio State the following week being a 6:30 game. Nebraska has won 20 straight night home Longest games. Longest in the nation. Longest in the nation. All right, well, let's talk about how healthy Nebraska will be. We've got some news at I back on Monday. Yeah, Trey Bryant does not look like he's going to be back for the foreseeable future. Meanwhile, Mikel Wilbon uh, with this ankle injury will be to monitor. So uh, it's going to be a lot of Divino Zigbo. We might even see more Jalen Bradley this week. And obviously the Wilbon situation, um, they expect him to be ready for Saturday, but um, still going to be one of those things to watch. I mean, will that affect his cutback ability? Because that's what Mikel Wilbon does really well. Offensive line-wise, right tackle. You asked Mike Riley about it uh, Monday, and his response was? Yeah, it's a delicate tightrope right now. You, you've got Brandon Hymas playing really well. David Neville still coming off the foot fracture injury that he suffered, and uh, they, they've been kind of kind of letting that thing heal up as much as possible. Um, but uh, I think Hymas has played so well, so that, that's what makes this difficult. But the challenge this week will be seeing – the best defense arguably on your schedule in Wisconsin and um, you, do you want to put a true freshman out on there in that or do you want a fifth year senior to be in that in that role and at center Michael Decker Cole Conrad Decker's played very well in his place you know Michael Decker a lot of people believe he has been one of the reasons why this line has looked better the last two weeks his communication his line calls all of the little things, his ability to get out and pull in space, he has looked outstanding. And I, I get the sense that's his job right now. Uh, they're going to be pretty diplomatic about how they say that, but that's my read right now. Wisconsin is fourth in total defense in the country, fourth against the run. Tanner Lee will have to have a big game to try to balance that because you know it's going to be tough sledding up front. Yeah, this, this is going to be one of those games where I don't think either team gets to 400 yards. I think it's going to be a team in the, in the mid to high 300s wins this thing. Uh, points are going to be at a, a premium field position. And, and pinning someone inside the 10 or the 20, that's almost going to be like scoring points because it could set you up for points on the next possession. So I think for Nebraska and Tanner Lee, it's going to be about being smart with the football in this game, knowing that not every pass is going to be a play. You might have to throw it away. You might have to take a sack. You might have to dump it down um, in order to live another day because you cannot give Wisconsin free yards and free points. After a tough start to the regular season, a really bounce back effort the last three plus games by the Nebraska defense. Yeah, Nebraska has gone from 122nd in the country after Oregon to now 34th as they go into Wisconsin. And now the glass half full guy is going to say, but who have they played? Right. The, some of the worst offenses in college football. I don't care, though, who you're playing. You hold back-to-back -back opponents under 200 yards in today's offensive-driven world of college football. That is still an impressive feat. And defense is about confidence. It's about emotion. And Nebraska has been developing confidence. They've been playing with emotion the last two weeks. And they're definitely going to have the opportunity to play some emotion here in Memorial Stadium on Saturday night. And red zone defense, Nebraska has been outstanding 22nd in the nation. And and they may just get, may just get their cornerback Chris Jones back this week. Yeah, that, that's another one that they're going to be delicate on. But mm -hmm. Jones, I saw him running. He looked good running last week. Mm -hmm. um, so could they bring him back in situations? Could could he be a? We're going to play him ten snaps this week or next week and, and play it from there. He does have that medical red shirt. He can always use a red shirt if he wants to this year. Um, so I think there's a lot for them to look at, but I believe Chris Jones wants to be back on the field this year. Bottom line, what ultimately wins this game? Uh, I think for Nebraska, can they, you know, the ball security in the running game, they're not going to get 200 yards rushing, but can they get an effective run, running game, a productive running game, enough to have this offense score in the, the mid to high 20s? I believe if you score – over 25 points, I, I think that's going to be enough to win this game. Can Nebraska get in that 24 to 30 range um, with this offense against a very good Badger defense that nobody has been able to crack this year? It's going to be fun. It's Saturday night, 7 o'clock kick. It's on the Big Ten Network, Nebraska and Wisconsin.